another tutorial on the UI graph. This will be a quick tutorial. I'll be talking about the logarithmic exponential as well as square root function today. And make sure you follow up very carefully. So first off, we download as usual. We go to the download bar, we paste the script and then create a division element. Give it an ID function plotter or let's just put it as func. Alright, uh, as we have seen in the last tutorial, we need to start off by giving our data. Now data can be generated using a for loop. For that we need to have a have an array first. Let us give it the name data array and initiate it to be an empty array. After you have initiated an array, construct a for loop where you can start off with your i equal to zero, i less than hundred, then i plus plus and you can write the function over here. So as usual you would write down data array dot push and push your elements over here. So to push an array you need to give the x coordinate followed by the y coordinate which you intend to visualize. So as usual we can go with i but it is recommended that we go with i by 10 because we are directly using i and then let us say math dot exponential of i by 10 all right after this you just directly create a dy graph by stating plot is equal to new dy graph where you input your element where you input your division element which is called func all right followed by a comma after which you input your data array all right so we see a lovely graph over here of our exponential function as i told you it is super simple you can zoom it over here and test your values you can even further increase the precision by involving 100 over here while increasing this to 1000 so there you go you can go as deep as you wish to and you can add an option if you want which obviously comes in a curly bracket as I've mentioned in previous tutorials like labels So x and then followed by exponential value or anything you can call it anything as you wish and I would also like to put the animated zooms to be true so let us see what happens oops not put a semicolon all right as you can see it's working perfectly all you have to do is change it to log if you want a logarithmic curve and when you run it of course you can see an amazing curve over here and then square root function also works pretty well so you can see that all right so that's it for this tutorial guys it was a quick recollection of what we have done in the previous tutorial at the same time teaching trying to teach you a new mathematical function so I would request you to just go through the JavaScript math library, the functions they provide, and practice what all functions you can trace on this dy graphs. And I'm pretty sure you'll have fun, so go try it out. In the next tutorial, I'll talk about how you can plot any function that you have in your mind. So stay tuned to this channel, like, subscribe, share, and tell your friends about the cool tool that you're working on that you have been learning. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.